right now I have finally sealed the deal and I am picking up the keys today to my new house let's go over there pick up the keys and give you a house tour of the new vehicle virgins pad this has been a long time coming I'm so excited so pumped to have my own garage. The biggest place I've ever lived, just myself, has been like 700 square feet. So this is gonna be a serious upgrade. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, I am so pumped right now. Oh my God, the echo is ridiculous. I just got my first home. This is, this is absolutely unbelievable. This is a dream come true, and it is all thanks to each and every one of you. Let's take a tour of the new place. This is a freaking massive step up. This is one of the most exciting things I've ever experienced right now, going from a 650 square foot apartment to 4,700 square feet. So the first room here, wow, the sound changed immensely, is going to be my office, my editing studio, where I do all the work that you don't see on screen. Over here is a guest bedroom area. There's a laundry room. We've got a guest bedroom down here for friends to stay in. Nice, it's got its own closet and bathroom. Here's another bathroom here for who knows what reason. Then this is the ridiculous entryway with this amazing, freaking beautiful staircase and chandelier. Look how it's reflecting against the wall. And then there's this fancy person room. I'm not really sure what to do with this. It's a sitting room. Might put some chairs there. Lovely fireplace. This is the room I'm honestly most confused at what to do. I might put, once I get it, the million subscribers play button right up there. Maybe a bunch of letters from you guys up there. Make it super, super vehicle virgins. All right, let's go down the main hallway here. Sorry again for the echoing. So here's the office. This is the dining room, but because there's also a dining room in the kitchen, I'm gonna put a pool table here and a couch so that all the guys can hang out. Wait, are you serious? I guess because it's a dining room, but it can go in the middle of the pool table. That won't be a big problem. Now on to the living room and the kitchen. So this is the living room. We've got some sort of wooden fixture there, a lovely fireplace, pretty good size area, a fan. I'm a fan of it. We've got a bar here for you know, doing adult related things. Then this, this smaller area here is where I'm gonna have my dining room because I'm not gonna have massive dinners. I don't have a huge family. It's just gonna be me, my girlfriend, my friends, whatever, hanging out. And then on to the kitchen. This thing is absolutely stunning. Marble countertops, we got light random things. As you can tell, I'm not a house reviewer. I'm just super, super pumped right now. And yeah, my mind is being blown. I'm talking really fast, but we've got uh, Viking. I think that's good. We're not sure. Flames? Flames? Yeah! GTR! There's a little sneak peek of the patio area. I've got something epic planned for that. All right, on to the upstairs, shall we? Going up the stairs. I want to do something with this. Maybe put like a racetrack on each side or goals or who knows, something. All right, go up here. More chandelier action. I think that wall would be super cool to decorate. I would love decoration ideas from you guys because I really have no idea what I'm doing. So here is one of the uh, sections of the house. This is a guest room area that I think is super cool. It's got its own freaking balcony and it has its own bathroom as well. Nice shower, bathroom, bathroom. And then it has its own walk-in closet for a guest room. Are you serious? So for the few friends who actually watch my channel, I think it's funny. I almost like don't like my closest friends to watch because it's kind of weird. We hang out all the time. So watching behind the screen is interesting. But for the people who are watching, yeah, you guys can fight over this room. All right, let's go down the hallway. Okay, here is another bedroom. However, because of this fixture here, it's meant for kids, I'm assuming. Here's one bedroom, then there's a connected bathroom, and then another bedroom. So what I have determined is, I'm going to take my driving simulator, finally, back from Ty's house in Michigan, and put it right here in the corner. Set up a screen, driving simulator room, hangout room, video games, whatever, have a bunch of fun. Then I'm thinking of turning this one into another guest room for people to stay or a merchandise room, we're not sure yet. Now on to the master bedroom. Walk through these doors here. Over here I think is where I'm gonna put my bed. Then there's a fireplace in the bedroom, which is incredible. Then a second area here where I might put a television and a couch for just chilling in the room. Then in here we've got 
a ridiculous walk-in closet where finally I can freaking put my shoes on a shoe rack without tossing them on the ground. That's awesome. I'm now gonna film vlogs from inside of the closet. That is uh, really leaving references for you guys to, I'm gonna come out of the closet right now. I'm coming out of the closet. There is a giant tub thing here that uh, I don't imagine I'll use too often. Who knows, maybe after a long day of driving cars. Then there is a sink and a mirror here. There is a bathroom. And then there is a freaking bidet. Why is there a bidet? I'm not sure. You can see down there into the courtyard area, there is my Mercedes. All right, let's check out the view. There's another mirror there and another one there. I'm not sure why. Shower. Boom. View of the backyard. We've got a lovely pool and a hot tub. Nice lawn area, some sort of globe thing there. It's super private, I'm so stoked about that. Neighbors can't see me, I can't see them, and a lovely view out there. Good morning, this is such a good feeling right now. Look how beautiful that is. I feel so blessed guys, thank you so much. So that is the master bedroom and upstairs area. Here's a little more view of my backyard from the bed. Let's walk through this hallway back downstairs. Dun, 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 dun. What am I gonna do with all this space? I'm literally gonna sprint around and scream. <laughs> Sorry, I've never been able to do that in my house before. All right, let's take a closer look at the backyard, shall we? I'm thinking of putting maybe some lounge chairs right here so people can chill, and the sun is right there, maybe tan. I clearly don't exercise tanning practices whatsoever because I'm pasty white, but you know, maybe other people will. Lovely grass area that you can sprint around in and have dogs. I, all my friends have dogs, I'm so jealous. I don't know if I'm ready in my life for a dog right now, but they can play in the backyard. Then, very important, we do have a grill right here. James, please make mistakes. This is the lovely pool, which knowing me, I probably won't heat all that often, but the hot tub, I am definitely going to heat and just look at the view of that hillside. I get to look at my neighbors who are 400 million times richer than I am sick. But my favorite part, honestly, is that from the pool, you can see through those two windows there, and that is one of the garages that the house has. Check this out, guys. I'm so pumped about this feature. It's hard to see with the glare uh, on the camera into one of the garages. Let's go around to the front. All right, guys, we're back inside. Now it is time for the most important part of any house if you are a car enthusiast, and that is the driveway and the garage setup. So let's go ahead, head outside to the front, and check it out. Randomly, there is a fireplace in the center of the driveway area here. Now what I'm thinking is, on videos where I'm not necessarily driving the car I'm talking about, I'm talking about future cars, so on and so forth, doing some kind of car news updates, I wanna do kind of an outdoor studio. So have some chairs here and here, have that in the backdrop, and then put a car right there, and a car right there, and maybe some artwork right there. I think that would look freaking awesome. If you guys have any ideas, let me know, but certainly also a fun place to chill with friends. And now on to the part that matters most. So right there, there's the S class. It's got this pass-through thing right here. I'm not really sure what that's about, but I think it looks really cool. Then here is the first garage. I'm thinking that's probably where the E63 is going to go. And then behind me is two more spaces where you can see through to the pool for when the Porsche comes, as well as the Huracan. Then there is tons of space here in the driveway for more cars. And then there's even more space here and there, and then in front of the house as well. Now, since I have all this space, I want to get a project car. So leave a comment in the comment section below what you guys think I should get for the next project car on the channel. I want something to be fun, I want it to have a lot of modification potential, and I want it to take subscriber input so you guys can tell me, I mean, within reason, I'm not gonna put a nuclear rocket booster system on it, but within reason, build the car for the channel, and potentially, that could eventually be a giveaway car for lightgravity.com pro members. All right, and finally, we are going to take a look at the front of the house. There's gonna be a code right here, new house to redeem points on lightgravity.com and win three free shirts by the end of next Monday. They are the five things I hate about Prius shirts. The people with the most points by the end of next Monday are going to win. You get points by redeeming the codes at random points in the videos and also by posting and having people like your posts on lightgravity.com. Maybe leave a post what you think I should do, what type of modifications for the house I should do, or post a picture and a description of a project card that you think would be awesome for the channel and maybe 
what things I should do to build it up. So there you guys have it. This is finally my new place. I've been waiting so long for this. I've been working so hard for this, but I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for making it possible for me to move from Michigan after graduating, not take an engineering job, which would have been the smart thing to do, be able to fly to California, live my dream, make videos. I love content creating and I'm so thankful that you guys appreciate the content that I put out and watch my videos and support me and this is so exciting. The squad has come over. We've got a freaking manual M2 owned by the youngest M2 owner in the country. He's 12. He can't even drive. How long have you had this? Like two weeks? Yeah. Oh my god. We gotta learn about burble mode. You click the detraction off button one time and it and it crackles more than normal? Yeah. In any sport, sport plus comfort, you just click it once and then. Oh dang. Those are some some significant crackles. Does this have the BMW performance exhaust? No, it's not. Gotcha. Alright, we are in Chris's manual M2. This is actually the first time I've ever driven a manual M2, which is obviously the right transmission to get when you have a car like this. Oh, that burble. <laughs> That's awesome. The freaking auto rev matching, you push the clutch in, you didn't have to give it any gas whatsoever. With the rev matching on, and it's the only time I've ever experienced a car where you can downshift in first smoothly. <laughs> This is weird though, it is a, uh, that's a 2 Series, not an M2. Damn. Driving this M2 was awesome. The manual version, definitely better than the DCT. Although, you really can't go wrong either way. Because of the DCT, you can focus more on steering instead of shifting, but because it has auto rev matching, pretty much impossible not to act like a total champion when you're driving. Imagine going around the track and that with auto rev matching, you don't even have to heel toe, you just freaking. Some more friends came over and found that there is an attic inside of my walk-in closet. So, I figured I'd get the camera just in case anything crazy happens. How is it? What is that? <laughs> oh, it's Malcolm. Hello. <laughs> how, how is it up there? <laughs> wow. It's all right. It's not that exciting. Chris, that's where you're staying. All right. Wait, we've got a central nuke system. Yeah, I think I found something what, kind of sketchy. What, bro? It's a keyboard. Are you kidding? Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a news box. All right. Well, now we are actually going to end the video. See you next time. Oh, James is. Uh, how the heck did you get in the house? Oh, <laughs> What's up? Peace.